Yeah, and please, I'm not oversimplifying now in light of the gravity of what we've just spoken about. Um, I know it can get very real in this space, but we are going to have a little bit of fun right now. And this morning, we are tackling the age-old question, the conundrum. Can money buy happiness or buy yourself a love knot like that? Whilst research shows that more money and wealth can boost your happiness, prioritizing money over time can actually have the opposite effect. Now, suddenly, this conversation starts to change. In today's Our Money Matters chat, I want to dig a little deeper into that money-happiness relationship. Ooh. Thank you for bringing the love antenna into the conversation. <laughs> sorry, the sorry. I, just... I love that. No, I needed to time. get involved in this one, It man. does, it's man. It's good time to shine but um, <laughs> this is a really interesting question and I think it's good that we think about this because it does raise some interesting questions around your what your priorities are in the oh. short term and in the long term um, so maybe let's start with this because I remember you telling me a tale of the, the lifestyle that you used to live when you were a young man and how you went all in and you were just loving the money that you were making yeah. did money make you happier back then and when <laughs> was that rug pulled out from underneath your feet Bro, it was the craziest thing for me sold that concept of like uh, go to school get a degree get a job and you'll have success and I bought into that thinking it was success Bro, I made decent cash I was working for like big brands throwing big parties at the time and it was popular making money but it didn't fill any holes it was the craziest feeling it's like this is everything i wanted but why am i unhappy not who you are i became yeah. more miserable it was like i was just spending more money and i wasn't accumulating anything of value it was the strangest concept to me it literally got me to the point where i think this is where i am right now because I quit immediately after realizing and feeling that I was like, surely there's more to life. It's quite a existential crisis. Yeah. Literally, bro. <laughs> and, and I think that's why I'm here today because I had to pull the plug on that fallacy that I bought into, man. It was crazy. And it's not to say that money can't make you happier, okay? It's just how you work yeah, that relationship sure. through. So if I had to give you the money, Zozo, what would you buy to make yourself happier? What, what does Ooh, that wealth nice equate to in the happiness realm? Well, it, it, it changes differently. I mean, right now where I am in life, I will whip out the Pinterest board and be like, let's add all <laughs> the flowers, let's add more candles, let's do more, more, more. But I think, you know, that that's if it's given to you. And that's feeding an experience, right? That's feeding that's a an moment experience. Time but I mean, you, yeah. I don't have that money, so I had to scale down to accommodate what I can afford. Um, and, and that's what, you know, what we're doing for our wedding. How would you use your money to spread happiness here? So sure. we talk about experiences and investing in that. I think we know that time is probably our most valuable commodity. So we want to stretch time out as much as we can. And maybe this is something that you can think about at home. Research shows that investing in those experiences quality time with your loved ones and buying time can boost your happiness that's yeah. maybe where the equation really lies so i know you're doing it obviously for the wedding but is this a pattern that you guys and i'll put this to both of you have worked into your life do you make prioritizing time with people that you love or even time for yourself in that sense the value of time have you made that connection uh, yes, we actually just did it this past weekend. I know I said I we wanted to escape the madness of the hustle and the bustle of the city, but we were crazy. Like, Robbie was at the end of a project at work. We've been... He's been working late nights, and I've had more free time. So we actually used this weekend to just spend some quality time together. Connect. Nice. Really yeah. I can't connect. actually put, a, like, a monetary value on that, to be very honest with you. You can. I, because you can like, <laughs> give me a nice place to well, stay. Un unfortunately, <laughs> that hotel in her did put a monetary value on it. So it was I, I, I feel you. But well, listen, man, I, I must say, like, drawing back to days like when I worked on Top Billing, right, I had this cool opportunity to chat to, like, successful people and people mm. that have made a lot of money. Not all of them were happy, I can guarantee you that much. A lot of the sentiment that comes through is, like, what's the point of having this money when you can't share it? Yeah. What's the point of having all of this when you can't have it with somebody? So, like, that moment of... Or that feeling of being alone often, I think, overrides any amount of money. Yeah. Chat to anybody, I'm sure they will correlate and agree with this. So the balance obviously is key because, yes, you do need a level of money to enjoy life and not be stressed by all these burdens. But I think it goes far beyond that. Ask anyone with a plethora of money. Ask anybody and they'll tell you that it's not the priority. There's so many more important things they're chasing. That time spent, that quality time, those moments, those memories. Stuff you can't get back. You can make Stuff money back, buy. bro. You yeah. can make your money back. Now, every wealthy person out there is looking at their husband or wife going, are we plethora level of wealth? <laughs> I want to know, am I <laughs> yes, that no. way through? Um, no, but it's, it's completely true because those moments in time, that's what stays with us. The money comes and it yeah. goes. Um, but this is changing the narrative slightly. Yes, 
more money can make us more happy. Um, but that baseline of happiness, that exists within us. And that's purpose driven. There's something else there. But we do need the necessary foundation for a happy life. Otherwise, you will be very unhappy later on. Use your money to invest in experiences and quality time with your loved ones. Out of the 15,000 plus interviews I've done, that seems to be the one common thread, the most valuable thing we have. Now, one way that you can shore up and make sure you're saving wherever you can, you can get that one bank account that will make being happy just a little bit easier, and it's the Nedbank My Goals account. It is engineered for you because you'll get 50% off your movie tickets, I know I always open yes. with this, but it's massive, okay? <laughs> Making it accessible to spend more quality time with your loved ones. It's with your kids. That's what it's about. That's what you're buying. And you can even get 12 free domestic lounge visits per year nice. to make your next holiday feel a little bit more VIP, and that will certainly make you happy. So invest in the good life. Check out the My Goals account at nedbank.co.za and phone someone you love right now and just tell them you love them and you appreciate them. <laughs> Mabel, check this. With a MyGold's premium account, you get 12 free airport lounge visits. 12? Yeah. Good night, When are you busy planning your next getaway during office hours? Ah, uh, Aman. 